guys, welcome to Homeschoolology. My name is Nikki, I'm a homeschooling mom of four, and uh, on this channel, I like to talk to you guys about all things secular homeschooling and maybe a little bit about motherhood. So today's video is what we do for science. I am currently using this, everything you need to know to ace science in one big fat notebook, um, in conjunction with uh, Generation Genius. So I'm using this to kind of lay out my units, like what we're going to cover, um, and then we'll um, pair that with videos from Generation Genius. Um, we, in a minute, I'm going to give you a down view of kind of like the schedule that we've done so far. I wish we got to science more often, but sometimes it's a subject that we don't get to as often as I'd like to. So, but I'm really working on that because my kids enjoy it and we're really liking what we're doing so far. So I'm going to switch to the down view and give you guys a look at how we use this book and Generation Genius for science. Okay, so this is the everything you need to ace science in one big fat notebook. I've done a review of these books um, before, so I'm going to link that video for you guys up here. <clears throat> um, and these are all kind of laid out the same way, and here is the inside gives you kind of an overview of what, how the, how it is written out. And then <clears throat> here is the um, table of contents. And so basically what I've been doing is using this table of contents as a breakdown for my subject areas. So we started with um, motion forces and work. <clears throat> and so basically I would find a video on Generation Genius. So I'm gonna put a little screen roll right here of Generation Genius. So Generation Genius has three levels of videos. So there's like the kindergarten level and then like the middle grades level and then the up to sixth grade, I believe. Um, so what I've been, I haven't really done many of the lowest level videos because my girls are kind of beyond that. So basically I'm finding videos that are in that like middle, um, so that middle elementary to the sixth grade level videos that coincide with what the chapters are in this book. And so here's kind of a general idea. <clears throat> so this was the um, this was the forces in motion unit that I did. And so here, the first video we watched was balanced and unbalanced forces. Then we watched a video on Newton's laws of motion. Um, each of the videos has an experiment in them. And so we do those and then we came back to the Everything Notebook and we read chapter 10, Forces and Newton's Law of Motion <clears throat> and answered the little quiz there. So I felt like this gave us a good understanding of that and then we moved on to our next topic and we watched a video and did the Everything Notebook. And then the next um, topic, the next chapter on, um, the next chapter was chapter 11 on gravity, friction, forces. There were several videos on that, so we watched those videos. And then we did this um, STEM card challenge. Let me go grab those for you. So this is the um, STEM card challenge that I'm talking about. I found this on clearance at Target after back to school. And basically these are little cards. It gives them a bunch of materials and a challenge to do with the material. And on the back it um, gives them kind of like information and gives a little explanation about what's happening. So if I can find one of these cards that lines up with what we're learning about, I do have them pull these out. But they also just pull these out for fun when they're wanting something to do that's extra. We'll pull these out and do them there. This has been a good little find. I really like um, like this one. <clears throat> and if I, it's Carson Delosa Education. So um, if I can find it on Amazon, I'll link it for you guys. But I really like these. So anyways, that's what those are when you see them on the list here. But so basically we just kind of follow that pattern. We, the next unit we started was energy, which is unit four in this book. And so as you can see, we watched, we basically there's like a video for the lower level and then a video for the higher level. And so we'll watch the lower level and then the higher level and then we'll do the everything notebook. Sometimes there's not, there's only one video that corresponds. So we'll just do that one. As you can see, there were a lot of videos, so we did a lot of videos, and then we covered the chapter in the Everything Notebook. So this is basically just what we're doing the whole time. Find the videos that correspond, and then do the chapter inside the Everything Notebook. This has been working really well so far. We really like it. I love that this Everything Notebook has 
all um, science, all middle school science in it. So it has chemistry, it has physics, it has earth and space, um, and it's all covered in here. Um, biology, all of it. So I, we will be able to use this book for several years. That's what we're just going to keep doing. We're going to keep using this book and Generation Genius. Um, and yeah, that's what we are doing for science and we are really enjoying it. It works really well. Um, we also are, um, for science, we're also using, we're kind of doing a unit study and we're also using this fairy tale science book. But I'm going to cover this book in another video I have coming up for you guys. Um, but I really, really like this one too and it's a good one for science education. So, I think that is all. So I hope you guys found that useful or informative. If you have any more questions, go ahead and comment down below and I'm happy to answer any of them. This system is working really well for us. Um, and so I do like it a lot. I'm a big fan of Generation Genius and I'm a really big fan of these big fat notebooks. I find them really useful. So that is I think all I have for you guys today. So I hope you will ask your questions and while you're down there I will hope you subscribe to this channel, ring the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out to let me know what kind of content you guys like. Um, and then if you'd like to see more of our like day-to-day -day lives, head on over to Instagram at homeschoolology and there you'll find us doing our thing. So that's all I have for you guys today and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Oh, and also FYI, get ready to see me in this outfit an awful lot because I'm pre-recording a bunch of these because we are going on a family camping trip and next week and I wanted to make sure I kept up with videos for you guys. So you'll get to see me like this for a while and I will keep you guys posted on the camping fun. Bye.